Copy, you got attack. Rescue 8's got search, engine 3, water source. Communication, quick response, and safety are three words Durham firefighters operate by. To enhance safety measures, all firefighters at the 19 city fire stations must go through a new virtual training. It really brings that context to life. It's way better than the training that most departments are still doing and that we hopefully will not do again. The training is an online game that firefighters use as a simulator called into the flame. It focuses on the intensity of being a real life firefighter, providing them with the visuals and sounds that will actually be experienced. Chief Robert Soldis says that's the benefit of this training, is so command level officers know how to handle stressful and chaotic scenes before they experience them in real life. Uh, and it'll make our battalion chiefs even better than they are, and it'll bring our captains to a level where they feel nice and comfortable doing this. Zoldis says it's a two-way training. He says at Station 1, battalion chiefs and captains are stationed on the first floor. Their duties are to communicate, command, and manage the fire, while instructing others on what to do in a scenario. Now we can actually visualize the whole scene, which is great. On the second floor are the firefighters and drivers. Their mission is to set the scene in the training, report what is going on to the battalion chief, and demonstrate rescue tactics. Zoldis says it replicates almost any type of structure or scenario. It's cost efficient, and it provides repeatable scenarios which allow for people to get better each time. We can do this over and over and over again and give eight evolutions today at least. Zoldis says it's trainings like this that can determine if someone lives or dies. Property can be lost and lives can be lost if we're not good at this.